one of the first decisions you make as a new weather station owner is where to mount the array outside. You must clean the rain gauge every few months and change the batteries every two to three years. So, make sure to pick a location that provides easy access to the weather station. Avoid radiant heat transfer from buildings and structures. In general, install the sensor array at least five feet from any building, structure, ground, or rooftop. Keep away from other sources of heat, such as chimneys, air vents, air conditioners, etc. Avoid wind and rain obstructions. When mounting on a roof, eight to 10 feet above the roof line is best for wind speed, but temperature and humidity and rainfall are more reliably measured four to six feet above the ground at a horizontal distance two to four times the height of the nearest object. Example, 40 feet away from a 20 foot tall tree. When mounting on the ground, height between four foot one inches and six foot seven inches above ground, 1.25 to two meters. Mount the sensor array in direct sunlight for accurate temperature readings. Installing the weather station over sprinkler systems or other unnatural vegetation may affect temperature and humidity readings. We suggest mounting the sensor array over natural vegetation. Wireless range. Radio communication between receiver and transmitter in an open field can reach up to 330 feet, providing there are no interfering obstacles such as buildings, trees, vehicles, and high voltage lines. Wireless signals will not penetrate metal buildings, earth, or the ground. Under most conditions, the maximum wireless range is 100 feet. Do not mount the station too low relative to the roof line. The roof's peak will heavily influence the wind direction, and the wind speed will be erratic as the roof may enhance or block the wind, depending on the direction. Do not mount too close to a building or structure. Heat will radiate from the walls, eaves, and soffit through the day. A pocket of warm air will likely develop under the eave at night. This will result in a significant warm bias. The rain gauge may be blocked by the building or structure, depending on the wind direction and roof pitch, and heavy raindrops may splash into the gauge from the nearby roof. Do not mount on a tree branch. This will cause birds to nest in your rain gauge funnel. Wind speed and direction are likely to be erratic due to turbulence around the tree branches. The temperature may run a little high during the day due to radiation off the tree limb. A properly sighted and mounted array ensures less maintenance and more accurate readings for years to come.